other thing what's waste? Uh, waste is a good standard of useless materials in the environment and they are generally common. And next can be either of the daily state. It can be cashless, liquid or solid state. There will be the trash, rubbish, industrial waste, chemical waste and everything. Commodity the waste is classified into two body vegetable waste and non-body waste. And we have Mabu Prita and Rukh Mabu Prita and Rukh Mabu Prita. is about 45 years actually, one way days old and uh, I have added few plastic things and uh, few potato peels to show which is biodegradable. So you can see this potato peel is actually crushed to death and this plastic is actually living towards the end. So uh, from this you can say that plastics are non-biodegradable uh, non waste and it doesn't compose in the pit whereas the uh, potato peels all the vegetable peels are decomposed. It's actually a bed where tons and tons of waste products like plastics, masks, all, uh, all other things are dumped in that plastic bed. And now the present size of the plastic bed is the size of a Texas city. So it's a really, it is rising at a very alarming rate. And uh, what do you do? The waste goes there, it floats away and uh, causes uh, harm to health. Not only that, but the uh, plastic waste also gets heat from sunlight, melts and gets in the, and gets in the pieces and also affects the aquatic animals, birds and other plants. So it's a very bad thing about our world and we should always try to conserve our uh, aquatic animals and other things. And uh, I would have uh, tried another experiment that we say that the thermocolics are not very good waste and it cannot be reused. But I am saying here the thermocolic can be reused. So I am just using a little thinner. I just add the stomach to this thing. As you can see, you know, the whole thermocol is crushed into death, whereas all the R, R bubbles have come out. And uh, you would be thinking, what is this? It's actually a clay type module, where using this we can make many other things like uh, toys, or uh, we can make many things like toys and other uh, daily uh, essentials, and uh, 
We can also use it in uh, lane road also. Whereas while lane road, you'll be thinking water doesn't seep down, and uh, we couldn't use it. But I am telling that while while you lay this road, you will make holes in it, and the water will seep down. And I have kept this name as Asimov. As it's a new invention, and I have tried it. I have named it as Asimov. Right. So now we continue. Like, as I was told, that non-biodegradable substances like uh, chemical they can be recycled to form clay models. And uh, they can uh, be used for our daily essentials. We actually made a small uh, research for our topic. Uh, last Saturday, we had visited a principal of cotton textile mills, uh, which is in Tirupur. Actually, uh, the aim of this uh, institution or this mill is uh, to recycle non biodegradable substances to uh, make them use for human kind. So, this is the mill uh, which we saw there. Actually, what they do is uh, the non biodegradable substances which we just throw away in uh, garbage bins or uh, uh, litter bins, they pick them up and they melt the plastic or those things and uh, they convert it into uh, a new form of yarn and uh, mix it in, uh, with cotton to form melange yarn. It's the new name for melange and uh, the meaning of melange is uh, dyed yarn. It's the only uh, form of yarn which can be dyed very easily to make uh, garments or cloths. So this is the machinery which I saw there and uh, the kind of uh, blended melange yarns are the non-blended ones and these are the different products or the shades of melange yarn uh, after mixing with plastic. And this is a small bit of evidence which I collected from there. So this is all about our uh, project. Now we'd like to conclude uh, with the flow chart. So like, what happens is we basically add the waste to the environment. The two ways commonly the biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste. The biodegradable waste are the organic waste and they are mostly the natural occurring waste. Like they are not made by humans or something. But the same opposite is the non-biodegradable waste. These are mostly human made waste. And these are not decomposed easily. Only a few of them can be recycled. Whereas all the biodegradable waste are decomposed. Now what happens then? Biodegradable waste is added to our surroundings. The excess of biodegradable waste is added to our surroundings. Like Thank you. 